Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit your audio with Filmora Trail. Okay, so we have Filmora Trail with many interesting features. And also, we have some AI tool for the audio also. So that's why I want to make a new tutorial for you. And if you are new here, consider to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Filmora tips and tricks. And for those of you who want to purchase Filmora Trail, don't forget to use my 20% discount coupon code to save your money. Okay, let's go to my computer screen. Alright, so this is my Filmora Trail example project and I already imported some video and some background music right here just to show you some example, okay? For example, if I want to put this video on the timeline, I can hit this plus button. Just click here and now we will see this is a video. And we can see the audio inside the video, okay? So this is the audio, the video with the audio. Okay, so for example, this is the uh, test audio, one, two, three, audio test, one, two, three, audio test. Okay, and if you want to see the audio level better, you can click this button. This is the audio meter in Filmora Trail. Just click here, and when you listen to the audio, you will see the waveform here. It's going up and down. Okay, so for example, this is the uh, test audio. One, two, three, audio test. One, two, three, audio test. All right, so now if you want to adjust your audio level, there are some options for you. Uh, first thing, uh, there's a line here. This is your audio level. If you want to increase or reduce your audio, all you need to do is to click here at this line and drag it up to increase. Increase the volume or drag it down to reduce the volume of the audio. Okay, something like this. Okay, so for example, this is the uh, uh, test. And if you want to increase the volume, you can do like this. Test audio, one, two, three, audio test, one, two, three, audio test. That is the first option to adjust your audio. And the second option is to double click at the video here on the timeline and select audio tab. And here you will have the volume slider where you can adjust the volume of your audio. For example, I can increase it to about maximum 12 decibel here and we can hear the audio. Okay, so for example, this is the uh, uh, test audio, one, two, three, audio. Okay, so it is too loud. Now you can reduce the volume with this slider also. And being mentioned that with Filmora Trail, you have the waveform here also. Okay. Audio test, one, two, three, audio test. And now in Filmora Trail, if you want to add audio keyframe, you have to do it right here also. For example, at this position, I want to add one audio keyframe. I want to click here and then I can move my playhead to some frame forward and then I can reduce the volume. So you can see here, uh, it show on the timeline. Okay, and then I can add another keyframe right here. I can increase the volume to about four or something like that. And here's the audio keyframe effect. Example, this is the uh, uh, test audio, one, two, three. So that's easy, right? By the way, we have more option here at the property panel. For example, if you want to change the audio from left ear to right ear, you want to go with this sound balance. For example, I can move everything to my left ear, okay? And then we can play. Three audio test, one, two, three audio test. Okay, and this is for the right ear. Okay, so for example, this is the uh, uh, test audio, one, two, three audio Nice, right? And you can also create fade in and fade out for your audio here also. You can even change the pitch of your audio. For example, I can increase the pitch to three or something like that. And here's the voice. That's audio. One, two, three, audio test. And here's the minus three. Uh, that's audio. One, two, three, audio test. Okay, and if you want to remove all the effect, you can click this reset button. Just click here to reset. And for the keyframe, we have to delete the keyframe ourselves. Okay, so just delete the keyframe and delete the keyframe here. Alright, so these are some basic audio editing features in Filmora Trail. And let me show you some more interesting feature. For example, the audio ducking feature. Okay, so let me scroll down here. Okay, so here's the audio ducking feature. We need a feature to help you emphasize your voiceover. Whenever you have a background music or a sound effect or stuff like that, and you want to emphasize your voiceover, you can use this audio ducking feature. Okay, 
for example let's click ok first and now i'm going to drag and drop a background music onto the timeline and i will put it right here all right let's listen to the audio without audio ducking feature okay just play okay so for example this is the uh, uh, test audio one Okay, so you see that my voiceover and my background music is kind of mixing together. Now we can use the audio ducking feature to emphasize my voiceover. All right, so all I need to do is to double click at the video again. Okay, and then I can turn on this audio ducking feature. Okay, and then I want to select a percentage right here. This is a percentage that you want to reduce below your voiceover. For example, I can select 65. This is my favorite number. And thus, I can press enter. And now let's listen to the audio with the audio ducking feature. Okay. Okay, so for example, this is the uh, uh, test audio. One, two, three, audio test. One, two, three, audio test. That's nice, right? And now what if you have two audio source and you want to synchronize the audio with Filmora 12? Okay, so let me show you how to do that. For example, I have a video here on the timeline with the audio inside and I have another audio source we recorded from my external microphone. So now if I want to synchronize them, all I need to do is to select both of them on the timeline and then I can right click and select this option, Auto Synchronization. Okay. And now Filmora will synchronize the audio and align the video with the audio. All right, and this is the result. Okay, so for example, this is the uh, uh, test audio one. So that is how to synchronize the audio in Filmora 12. And now I don't have to synchronize the audio manually anymore. Okay, and what if you want to mute the audio or delete the audio inside the video? It is also very simple. For example, here, I can just delete this one and I want to keep this video. For example, if I want to mute the audio in this video, all I need to do is to right click here and then select mute and it will mute the audio, all right? If I want to separate this video and delete it, all I need to do is to right click it again and then select detach audio, okay? And now we have a new audio track and then we can just delete it. And now if you want to add a background music to your video and you want to find the beat in your music and edit your video according to the beat, it is also possible in Filmora 12 now. For example, I have a music file here. If I want Filmora 12 to find the beat for me, all I need to do is to right click here at the music file and then we can select this option, beat detection. Okay, and then Filmora will find the beat for us. Okay, now the beat detection is finished and you can just drag and drop your music file onto the timeline and you will see the marker so that you can add it to the beat. This is a marker. Okay, so this is a marker. This is a marker. Nice, right? And let's click here. You see many marker on the timeline. By the way, if you want to adjust the beat option, you can just right click at the music file again and then you have the beat option here. So you have some option right here. Highlight every four beat or you can change it to two beat or stuff like that or highlight the offset or you can mark highlight beats only. Okay, so this is how to find the beat and add it to the beat with Filmora 12. And let's click OK. Okay, and let's delete this one. And let me show you another interesting about editing audio in Filmora 12. So where is the auto normalization? For example, I have two clips here. Let's separate it and let's lower the volume here because Sometimes you speak too loud and sometimes you speak too sharp and you want to normalize them, right? Okay, and let's hear the audio and this is the first audio and this is the second one. Oh, this is the uh, test audio one. So this is very low and this is higher, right? And now if we want to normalize them, all we need to do is to select both of them on the timeline and then right click and select this option, adjust audio. Okay, and now we have the auto normalization option. Just turn it on. Okay, and let's hear the audio now. Okay, so for example, this is the uh, uh, test audio. One, two, three. Oh. Nice, right? And finally, is the audio straddle in Filmora Trail. Uh, for example, let's use this music file. Just drag and drop it onto the timeline. And now, if you want to extend the duration of this background music, you have the audio straddle here. Just click here. And then you can just move your mouse to the end of the music file. And whenever you see this icon, just click here and then you can straight out, 
stretch it out to the right to extend the duration of the music file. Okay, and now the duration of the background music is longer. Very Alright, so these are some audio editing features in Filmora Trail. You may want to know. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.